who am I looking for? I'm looking for a company that will uh, surprise me so much that I will have no doubts that, uh, that I would like to invest into it. I would say even more, I'm looking for a company that I would have to fight to be in line with other investors so the company actually accepts me as an investor. You know? We are looking for the exciting uh, CEE-wise based companies uh, which brings at the end and create the value for different businesses. Uh, especially we are looking for the companies which already have some traction. Traction means uh, customers, some uh, revenue, maybe tractions coming from the investors already or at the end friends, family and fools. However, the minimal uh, uh, requirement is that the company have got working solution already. We like uh, blockchain, we love uh, AI now obviously and we are looking for startups from that areas as well. We are looking for startups from Central Eastern Europe uh, and there are many reasons for it. I think that today uh, every startup that wants to be successful needs to have a global ambitions and uh, to be present in more than one country is actually the first step for, for, for the global expansion. So uh, that, that would be one of the main reasons why we're looking for companies not only in, in Poland but, but in the whole region. The other thing is there's more and more companies that are actually already working, cooperating and, and this is actually going to be a proof for me that this company has a potential to work abroad, not only in Poland. And uh, you know, we're not looking for, for quantity, we're looking for quality and uh, opening to new markets is not about bringing just a bigger number of projects but having a chance to select better and better projects every year. What is the difference between the Polish startup and CEE other countries' startups? I think that uh, we have similar way of thinking in Central and Eastern Europe. It is why we can create some kind of hub. It is why we are focused now in Incredibles on CEE market. Because we are thinking together, we have similar uh, background in our countries and we can uh, I think create great startups because, because we have uh, uh, entrepreneurship in our blood and uh, we have also global way of thinking uh, much more, uh, much more uh, active now than uh, in past years. I think the uniqueness of this program is that we're trying to make the program to fit a particular project. It's, it's a kind of a custom made uh, program which will allow every particular project to be treated individually and to be treated in a way which they will not have a chance to be treated in any other program. The major difference between Incredible Accelerator program and other accelerator program is that we are building a completely customized accelerator program which will surround with the mentors and proper solution the future companies which will want the competition. So this thing is making this program very, very unique. All the startups in CEE ecosystem already thinks globally. In most cases, they are looking for foundings which, they, which will allow them to grow, grow quickly and rapidly. Uh, they are looking for the mentors and contacts to the market which will bring the first customers to them. So from my perspective, there is completely no difference. Except the fact that the Polish startups, of course, are better. Do I think that uh, somewhere in C, especially in yeah. Poland, we can build the equivalent of Silicon Valley? So everyone wants to have own Silicon Valley and, uh, and I think that uh, we can create such uh, similar idea, similar um, ecosystem in all, all Central Eastern Europe, not in one city, not in one country, because we are too small and uh, we have to think like uh, all hub, Central Eastern Europe hub, and maybe, and I hope, and I'm even sure that we will compete with uh, countries like Israel, like uh, Silicon Valley, like uh, uh, UK, Korea and so on in the next two, three years, uh, like um, Central Eastern Europe hub. Europe differs from, from US on many different aspects, uh, so I wouldn't point out one particular place that will become a new Silicon Valley, uh, because there's plenty of, uh, of, of, of places uh, around Europe, cities around Europe that has amazing potential and already a lot of experience in growing companies from a, from a tech space. 
so I can't say that Poland will suddenly become, become the new Silicon Valley, but definitely we can play an important role on that map. My advice to the startups that would like to join the incredible program is be brave, be open-minded, uh, have a great, you, you, for sure you have great ideas, just be consequent in what you do, be uh, realistic, work hard, uh, but like I said, be brave, it's the most important thing, and uh, follow your dream. And I believe that if you do that, there's always going to be a chance that you're going to be extremely successful. So, go ahead.